Okay, um, this is a little demonstration of uh, a Sharp Sky uh, focuser uh, connected to the scope um, prior to uh, mounting the motor um, and drive mechanism in any sort of case, just so you can kind of see, um, you know, how it's actually coupled to the scope. So I've removed the. <coughs> Ten times or ten speed um, control knob, which was just uh, attached with a little grub screw. It's a two and a half millimeter drive shaft, and then here's the little stepper motor, and it's uh, connected to the two and a half millimeter shaft using a a um, zero backlash uh, beam coupler, flexible beam coupler, which is kind of cool. It's uh, little, this little beast here. It's uh, aluminium, um, and although it exhibits uh, zero backlash when 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 rotated, it's clearly uh, clearly very flexible, and allows for any uh, shaft misalignment, and also takes the stress off the uh, gearbox in the motor should there, should there be any uh, shaft misalignment. So it's plugged in at the moment. I haven't got it connected to the USB. It's just in 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 uh, manual focus mode with the. Uh, manual focus knob so um, this is all a bit uh, a bit of a lash up but it shows the general principle so uh, if I um, hold the motor so obviously it doesn't rotate so you can see it rotating clockwise it's very smooth virtually no vibration the motor appears to be not really having to make much of an effort to rotate it then back in the opposite direction. You can see the uh, direction light flashing on the control box. And then just very briefly back in the opposite direction. As I say, it feels very smooth. I can't feel any vibration. There's no... Um, there's virtually there's no play. The motor is not attempting to move in any other direction, other other than the direction it was designed to move, which is like the shaft going around. The motor is not moving in any other any other, any, other, any other direction. When all the play has been, any play there is, is being soaked up by the uh, beam coupler. Again, another little purchase from China. A tenth the price for the UK. So now uh, the next step. Um, I only got the beam coupler today. The next step is to build a little mounting bracket attached to the four mounting holes on the bottom of the Crayford focuser. Extend out here, then bend in this direction. Attach the motor on its little mounting lugs, and then affix a little little box around it just to keep the keep the dew and the moisture off of it, fix the connector into the box and then uh, basically that would be it, good to go. Anyway, thanks for watching, cheers!